Hello friends, this is Wendy, and welcome to my messy desk, and it is, well, you won't see it today, you'll probably see it on a Monday, but today is Finish It Up Friday, right? Um, I have been, I've been working on this bird a little at a time for over a week, but my son's birthday is coming up, I do need to get this on here, yesterday I did um, wet the back and turn it over and put something heavy on it, because it was way more warped than it is now so i have not glued this down and i really think i'm going to glue this down first but first i got mail i got scorched timber oxide so i have it now in the pad for the ink and for the oxide i'm going to really enjoy using this on projects and then these both came with a um, subscribe and save from amazon i I get most of my stuff from Amazon because I have the credit card from Amazon and then I get um, cash back. I get credit on Amazon to continue buying things for less because I have, you know, anyway. Um, so I got pumice stone, which is one of my absolute favorite. And I got aged mahogany, again, a favorite. Both of these in spray stains. I think I like the spray stains better than I like the oxides. Well, I just had some major excitement. My whole, my whole phone and <laughs> ring and everything just fell right, <laughs> fell right down. So I got out some of that. Uh, in fact, I'll pull it out. Oh, see, look, I'm knocking everything down. But uh, I pulled this out and stuck a whole bunch of it on my. The, there's there's a place you know that to attach my ring to the to the clamp anyway. <laughs> I was saying that I I do. I, I prefer the spray stain, but I also prefer the distressed ink to the oxide. So that makes a lot of sense to me. And, you know, Tim Holtz has so many different inks. And uh, he has inks and he has sprays and he has oxide as well as just, you know, inks and stains. And he has the the watercolor crayon or uh, the watercolor pencils which he's come out with the rest of his colors in and he's got the crayons and I've tried the crayons I don't like the crayons so much you know but other people love the crayons and other I mean it's I think one of the reasons why he has so many a wide variety is because there's a wide variety of people with a lot of different uh, interests anyway so. I, I spent some time organizing my drawers so that everything will fit better in there. But right now, I need to get this down and flat. Then I need to glue this down. My son loved this. I don't know if I, did I say that? He's, he, he liked it and uh, he, was, he was happy with it. And he, I, I, I made some comments about that and he goes, you didn't plan it to look like that? And I was like, no. <laughs> he says, it looks like you planned it like that. So that's kind of fun too. And we came up with a saying to put on here. And so oh, let's get started. I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to start with the red tape. And I think I need to find it. All right. So this is called red line tape. I've mentioned this before. Of all the tapes, all the, all the glues, all the anything that I have, this stuff is, wow, it's powerful stuff. And I like it. I pretty much use it for, well, things like this that just really got to stick and they got to stick well. Um, it's, it's more for bigger projects, you know, just paper to paper. You know, I've got all kinds of different tapes and glues that do just fine. But this one is for when either you just can't get anything else to work or, you know, again, like this, where I really, I want it to stay on my, my board. I got the board at Walmart. I don't know if I told you that. Come in a pack of three. So I got that there and I get the red line tape on Amazon. 
So, and I get that subscribe and save as well. So, so it saves me some money and goes on my my card again which then gives me a, a credit which then i can use to buy other stuff anyway it's it's definitely an addictive kind of process isn't it <laughs> That's like that. okay let me get my i'm trying yeah i think i'll take oh i'm gonna speed this part up because this could take me forever that's the other thing though about it is that this glue that's on here is so intense that it's hard, at least for me, to get the the red tape, which is sort of like a little plastic tape, off of it. Anyway, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to, I've got my brush, I'm gonna then put a bunch of this on, and I'm gonna put it down on there I probably should get my clamps out. I wonder if they'll fit. I might just stick a book on top of it. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, so these are full of my quick cut dies, which um, are metal, and so these are really heavy. So, uh, well, not so heavy. I can't lift them, but you know, I'm gonna leave these on here for probably a few hours. So, um, uh, this may be a, a few days to get this project completely finished. So. Um, if you oh I before I say that let me let me get this out I was just reading on Tim Holtz Addicts and they weren't actually talking about this the distress collage medium but uh, they were talking about some of the paste that he has like crackle paste and 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 other paste like that um, but it could they could have just as easily been talking about this because they all come in a jar. And it was Tim Holtz who said, you get that press and seal. I have had this jar. Well, I bought it when we lived in North Carolina. I have lived here in Utah for three and a half years. So this is at least four years old, probably older. And when I open it up with this press and seal in there, and I always push it all the way down so it's touch touching the actual glue, it is soft and pliable and just as if it was brand new. So I may have to go around the bird with my, with the little teeny tiny point on here and squirt some more glue in there and then put the weight on it again. I may have to do that a few times since the bird also, since it's been spritzed and, and everything on watercolor paper, it's also a little bit warped a little bit and anyway i mean just that's just what happens with paper and water right so and then i'm gonna put the the title on it which we've decided is think celestial which is kind of like think heavenly think good things think positively think kindness think you know think all the good things right so uh that that seemed like a good thing to write anyway uh so I will finish that later, but I think I'm going to just try to post this today. So this is um, finish it up Friday. <laughs> I actually had a few other projects I wanted to do, but I this is my only little workspace. I, I think I'm just going to gonna sign off and finish that up tomorrow. <laughs> And then if you enjoyed this, give it a big thumbs up, hit that notification bell, uh, like, subscribe, you know, all the things. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope your ring light does not crash into your lap, into your lap while you're trying to record like mine did.
for me today. Anyway, bye.